With four straight trips to the NCAA tournament, Temple men's basketball team is building expectations for this season among the students on campus. I think they'll be pretty good. I mean, they got some good seniors back, so I think they'll be successful. I think they'll be like 18th in the country, at least, at least in the top 25 by the end of the year. I believe Temple will win the Atlantic Division, but as far as NCAA goes, like I'm always a root for Temple, but I can't see us making past like the second round of the tournament. I really can't see. But you know, like, we're really we're still an upcoming team. Like people understand, like we came a long way. Though some are still dwelling on the past. I want a rematch from last season in San Diego State. That's what I want to see. I want to see because because honestly, we, we could beat them. We had that game. That's what I would love to see. The revenge match from last season. That's what knocked us out last year. The rest are looking towards the future. Duke and Marion game will be real good. It'll be real good. While these students may not be able to agree on the best game of the season, they do agree on who will be this year's breakout player. Fernandez, he's a, he's a baller. He's so good. He's real good. I see him doing big things. Big things. He, was, he did great last season. But I hope he's more consistent this season. He came through big last year on the San Diego game, but we couldn't. We unfortunately couldn't close it out. But I see him getting better this year. With a four-point increase on its scoring average from last season, it seems Fernandez is already fulfilling expectations. Al fans, however, will just have to wait and see how their predictions play out. For Al Sports Update, I'm Robert Stockwell.